Today we want to talk about the Oklahoma Proven Plants for the 2013 season. Now the Oklahoma Proven Program was actually started back in 1999 largely to help support the industry, the green industry, the growers in the state. But it's also an educational program for the public, helping the public be able to choose good plants for their landscape so that they can be successful and of course happy. Each year with the program we choose an annual, a perennial, a shrub, and a tree as plants that we will highlight during the year and we keep adding, on, adding to that each year. Uh, in the last few years uh, we've also had a category called the collector's choice which is a plant that typically is one that you might have to search around a little bit more for and is one that will take a little bit more thought in where you place it in the landscape as well as the care and maintenance of the, of the plant. Now overall, we choose these plants based on their performances in Oklahoma, that they are able to tolerate a wide variety of conditions with very minimal care. Now as you know, Oklahoma is a very diverse state. It, it ranges greatly from precipitation uh, rates from the panhandle all the way down to the southeast uh, is widely different. Soil types and soil uh, pH is also very variable as well as the temperature. So it's kind of hard sometimes to find a plant that's going to do well in all of the state. But we do our best to find plants that uh, are going to perform their best throughout most of the state. The first plant I want to start with is our annual, which is Helenium Dakota Gold. Now Helenium, uh, the common name for this is bitterweed or sneezeweed. And this is actually a wildflower of Texas. So it actually does very well here in Oklahoma and, and actually has a range of all the way up into Chicago. Dakota Gold resulted from a program that was initiated with the Texas A&M University. And they collected seed from all over the state and went through a, a testing process. And when they finally got that somewhat uh, refined, they passed it on to Ball Seed Company who further refined the, the program and those plant selections until we ended up with just this Dakota Gold. Now this is an excellent little annual. It has very fine textured foliage, dark green, bright green foliage, and then these beautiful bright yellow, golden yellow flowers that really come on uh, in spring and bloom throughout the rest of the year until the frosts come in. Now one thing we have realized is that this is a very heavy reseeder. So once you get some of plants planted, um, you, you can probably expect uh, quite a few seeds the next year. So that may be an issue for some people, but it's an excellent wildflower. So if you're trying to establish a wildflower area, um, you know, this is a great plant to use. The perennial for this year is Nepeta Walker's Low. This is a hybrid cat mint that has grayish green foliage, it's aromatic, and these lavender blue flowers that start in the springtime. The biggest display is in the springtime, and if you do a little bit of trimming after the initial, initial bloom, then it will continue to bloom sporadically throughout the rest of the summer. Now this grows about a foot to two, two feet high and grows about one and a half to three, three feet wide. So it makes a nice little mounded uh, plant. Great for, uh, it can be used as a ground cover, a great in a perennial border along the edge, spilling over the edge of a maybe a retaining wall. It's, real, it's pest free. Um, it, it tolerates a little bit of shade, but does best in full sun, quite drought tolerant once it gets established. Um, the deer and other critters don't like it, but it also attracts butterflies and bees to the garden. Mm -hmm. 